Hello, first Legal League teens. Uh, thanks for watching Space Insights with the European Space Agency. I'm ESA astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti and I'm talking to you from the European Astronaut Center in Cologne, Germany. And uh, I hope to be able to give you some tips and insights for your mission into orbit. All right, first of all, uh, I'm an astronaut, right? So I was in space a few years ago on the International Space Station. So I have some idea of what uh, it means living up there in space and maybe a few things that you might want to think about as you plan your spacecraft for the space mission of uh, your astronauts. Uh, well, first of all, you have to get to space. So think about how you want to build your rocket so that you get your spaceship into space. Uh, then maybe think about how big your uh, crew is, uh, is going to be, how many crew members you're going to need to get to all the work done that you uh, want to do during your mission. Uh, in our case, we were six crew members, international crew members from different countries, from the United States. Uh, I was, of course, from Europe, from Italy in particular, uh, and we had uh, several Russian colleagues. We had quite a lot of space up there because the space station is very big. But maybe you have to think about the fact that future spacecraft might not be as big as the space station. So you have to make sure that you organized your interior volume of your spacecraft in a smart way. So maybe the same volume might be used during the night to sleep and during the day maybe to eat together or even to do some work. So think about smart, efficient ways of organizing the interior. Then of course your spacecraft is going to need power. On the space station we have big solar panels that generate the um, electricity. So, you know, think about what might work for your uh, spacecraft. Then of course you need to keep uh, a comfortable temperature. So on the space station, it's actually nice. We are able to set the temperature and uh, it works quite well. It's usually about uh, 22 degrees uh, and we have a good ventilation system. And of course, we have a system that uh, um, enables us to remove the carbon dioxide that we produce when we breathe and to generate oxygen. And uh, we are able to recycle the water. Uh, and in terms of food, well, our food uh, um, actually comes from Earth. So it gets supplied uh, by cargo ships uh, all the time from, from Earth. But, uh, you know, think about if you're going uh, far away, deep space, uh, to the moon, even one day to Mars, uh, what you want to do with the uh, food and uh, maybe if you're able to grow some food on board, who knows. Um, in terms of hygiene, uh, you'll probably need a toilet. A toilet that works when there is no weight, so things don't necessarily go on their own in the right direction, so think about that. And one thing that I really missed up there was a shower. So we actually only took sponge baths, we washed with uh, wet towels, but uh, who knows, maybe you can think about a better way to stay clean uh, up there. And uh, don't forget to think about radiation, right? So on the space station we are uh, very close to Earth, so we are protected. Uh, thanks to the magnetic field of the Earth. But if we are flying further away into space, uh, that will not be the case. So you need maybe to think about finding ways to protect your crew members from harmful radiation. So some thoughts for your uh, uh, into orbit mission. Uh, all the best to you. I hope uh, you, uh, all you teams from the first uh, LEGO League around the world, uh, hopefully you learned something today, uh, got some hints and tips uh, for your, your mission and uh, good luck.